Mm. My name's Stuart, I'm watching Morris TV. Lee Paul, 4 1 win over Newton Aircliffe there. How pleased were you with the performance out there? No, I'm very pleased. Uh, pre season's going very well so far against all the top division Division 1 teams. Um, we knew what we expect with Newton Aircliffe. They're a tough team, and they always have been. And with Peter Dixon there now, he's brought a lot of experience. I know they were missing a few players. Um, so are we, um, but at the end of the day, we went out there with a the game plan um, from King Ian, Midland and Davy. So we stuck to the game plan and it proved successful. I mean, like you said, it was great to get some minutes in for myself. It's been a long pre-season for myself, it's four weeks now, but that I'm happy to get on the pitch and happy to get a goal to be fair. I can see that was a, a nice moment for you, wasn't it, to get on the pitch and get on, on the side? Yeah, 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 like you say. I mean, if the opportunity came for the penalty, I know Harris took the last one and he took it very well, but I've always wanted to take penalties and I was very successful last year taking penalties for Sheldon, so I wanted to continue with that and then move on from there. And it's not the first time this season as well that we've been behind in the game and gone out to win it as well. Is that fighting spirit in the camp? Really oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, like you say, I mentioned before, touching on that, we've got a lot of quality in the, in the dressing room. And we've all been at teams where we've won things, so we know like a one goal in these leagues, it means nothing. Um, anything can happen. And like you say, we stuck to a game plan, and the game plan came true. Um, it was a good, good to come back to one one, and then move on in the second half. Foley took his goal, brilliant. And we just seemed to go from strength to strength. When we were making the substitutes, the team wasn't moving down in class. It still moved forward. So I think that was the difference in the end, the depth in the squad that we've got. Because when Newton Aircliffe made a few subs, their quality did drop. Mm. Uh, but I'll see if they go on and we got stronger and hence the result. I think this was your first game since the, the first game of pre season. Yeah. So how's the injury at the minute? Um, it's a tricky one. Uh, I think it's it's not a hamstring pull, a muscle pull, it's bowel counts, it's sciatic, a nerve. But I've been seeing um, physio David Hopman, I've been seeing um, Andy, and I've been getting some acupuncture, which Seems to have helped. I've been this morning getting some acupuncture, um, so I just have to play through it. it. Doesn't as long as it doesn't flare up too much, I should be able to continue. I'm hoping I can get some more minutes on Tuesday. We're going to go for Northampton next week. Has it been a frustrating time for you over these last few weeks? Definitely, yeah. Uh, I mean, let me say it was nice to be back at my hometown club. Um, Pre-season was going well until that injury, well, until the the nerve. But it has been a very frustrating thing. But it's been good to watch. Um, I've enjoyed every minute watching um, to see what this, this team, so I know what the team is myself, I know what individuals could do. Um, so it's been good for myself to know the, the players as well. But yeah, it's been very frustrating, but it's going to be hard. Just finally North Allen on Saturday, the guys wants to just see him on top of the world, how that one? Oh, definitely, yeah. I think, I mean, the, the dressing room is buzzing uh, and we've got a lot of quality in the dressing room, so I think everyone's for the season, I think people have mentioned it's been a long pre-season already because yeah. we've had that many games. And we're probably our top league now in the pre-season games, but no, I think people just want the results to count the things. Yes, it's nice to be Division One team, but the new name is Northampton, and that's where we need to be. We need to be winning the first game of the season and moving on from there.